What's the worst scam you fell for when you were young and gullible? Had just taken a dump on a public toilet, came out to wash my fingers, but had nowhere to place my Game Boy, some man offers to hold it for me while I wash my hands, and next thing you know, little idiotic six-year-old me no longer had a Game Boy. Back when I was in my early 20s, I started scouring eBay for whatever semi-precious stones and gems that I could find. While I managed to snag a few great deals, I wound up getting just a bit too enthusiastic about certain rare items like a raw uncut piece of ice quartz. Now, I'd heard of rose quartz and smoky quartz and even rutilated quartz, but ice quartz was brand new to me. The listings included pictures seemed to suggest that it was a perfectly clear variety of the mineral, but that occlusions in the stone made it look a bit like an ice cube. The price was fairly steep, but since it was such a seemingly unique item, I was happy to pay. I realized how stupid I had been when the rock finally arrived. As it turned out, I paid quite a bit of money for a plum-sized chunk of broken glass. I'll keep the money safe. Yeah, dad, I've not seen most of that money. Got scammed by a taxi driver in Rome, the fare was 25 euros, and I got the money ready and separate prior to the journey. When I got to my destination, I gave him the money, but he swapped one of the notes and said I only gave him 15 euros. I was getting my bags and didn't think anything of it, just apologized and gave him another 10 euros. Didn't realize till he drove off, I know it's a small amount of money, but I still kick myself to this day. Back in my teenage days, I didn't really get much attention from girls, so I started using Tinder, got a match from a girl that looked pretty attractive, and she messaged me first, so I was pretty excited. We started talking, and the conversation escalates into us planning to hook up. She sent me a couple of nudes and teasing videos, and insisted I did the same. Once I finally came around to it, I sent it on Snapchat, she immediately screenshots it, and threatened to start sending it to people on my Instagram, unless I paid her or sent her a video of me having sex with someone. I did neither, and she started sending it to people. Eventually, I blocked her and the accounts of the people she sent it to that I didn't know. While with the people I didn't block, I called and explained the situation, and they just kinda laughed it off and told me to be careful on Tinder. I matched with a girl on Tinder when I was 18. We talked for a bit, and she gave me her number. I was excited at the time, laughing out loud. She never could meet up, but one day asked if I would be a plus one to a luncheon for her work. I, for some reason, saw no issue with this and agreed to go. I go to the address, and it's some hall that can be rented out, and there is a lot of people there. She says she's inside and will meet me in a few minutes, but that I should mingle for a bit. So I'm talking to a guy and a girl, and strangely enough, they are doing the same thing that I am doing. I feel a little uneasy going into the building, but I didn't have much of a choice besides just bailing. Come to find out. I'm attending a seminar for working at a multi-level marketing company. And they were very aggressive about me wanting to leave. I never met whoever I was talking to on Tinder either laughing out loud. I never fell for any. But my dad is an idiot. He carried on conversations through Facebook with a female army LT that was coming home from Iraq in a few months. She had discovered a trove of gold in one of Saddam's palaces and needed a place to hide it from her commander for a few months, and she thought my dad's farm would be perfect. My brother and I found out about four months into the whole thing and laughed our asses off. I got one of the keys that car dealerships send in the mail with the if it fits, you win a free car. Postcards. Drove 20 minutes out to the dealership. They wanted my email and phone number and asked if I would wait in the lobby for a salesperson to help me. The sales rep straight up told me that it was just a promotion. The key wasn't actually for a vehicle despite looking like one. So I wasted almost two hours of my life between the driving and time at the dealership. Then, of course, I had to go through with unsubscribing from their ads and texts. Publisher's Clearinghouse Sweepstakes. My seven-year-old brain was sure that they would only pick you to win if you subscribed to some of the magazines. So I filled out the form and mailed it in, positive that my parents would be very pleased when the giant check and balloons arrived. Instead, I got yelled at when the first magazine started arriving and spent a year getting 12 different mystery and sci-fi magazines delivered to me, 
while I worked off the subscription costs doing extra chores every weekend. You have won a brand new iPhone. Enter your details to collect your prize. 12 year old me was ecstatic. My dad, who got a surprise £150 extra on the phone bill, was less so. Herb life. My parents weren't familiar with MLMs, so they couldn't have warned me. Lost $1K plus savings while barely 18, before realizing it's a scam. Some dude on Roblox wanted me to join his world. I went ahead and did it, and it asked for me to log in to verify that it was me. It said server shutting down in 60 seconds and counting down, so I rushed to do it without even thinking twice. Luckily my mom contacted the Roblox support team, and after days of trying to get them to do something, I got the account back. Quite a clever scam for using on 8 year olds like me at the time. Fucking piece of shit. About to graduate from high school and got an interview for a potential summer job. Showed up to find a group of 10 to 15 other high schoolers and we all sat through their hour long presentation before they wanted to interview us. It was Vector trying to rope kids into selling Cutco knives. Thankfully it sounded sketchy to me, 18 years old female going into strangers houses and told them I wasn't interested and walked away. But not before they tried you were really engaged during the presentation. We think you'd be great on the team. I guess because I didn't fall asleep or immediately walk out. So glad I dodged that bullet. Sea monkeys looked nothing like the comic books promised me they'd look. I'd seen the ads in the comics for years and dreamed about having my own underwater kingdom of little buddies who'd swim up to the side of the bowl and smile at me every day, but back in those days in Australia, we just didn't get any of the cool stuff that was advertised in US comic books. Until one day, quite by accident, I found one packet of sea monkeys waiting for me in the toy section of the local supermarket. Just the one. I was so excited I nearly peed my pants on the spot. And after racing home, commanding my dad to locate an empty fish tank, setting everything up, and then waiting for days and days for the sea monkeys to hatch. They turn out to be shrimp. Student loans. Fuck student loans. The earlier we get there, the earlier we can leave. A friend wanting to help me build a PC because you get so much more bang for your buck, me having been friends with him for a decade, trusted he knew what he was doing and wanted to help, lots of red flags along the way like telling me he ordered the things before I even asked him to do it, or asking me for the money before I got the PC. But I had no reason not to trust him. Then several weeks later, I finally got my bang for my buck PC, which was mainly outdated laptop parts. It was terrible, I was promised Skyrim on Ultra, and I got Skyrim on lowest possible setting and 1280x1080 to get 40fps. He still technically owes me money as he didn't spend the full amount, but he refused to give it to me, even when I was living off $20 a month for a while, so I just stopped talking to him. Department store credit cards. Get that dope discount and then never receive a statement or card until it's in collections with fees. I refuse to shop at Macy's because of this. Santa Claus. My parents asked me to write what I want for Christmas in a piece of paper and put it inside the sock. I wrote I wanted a bike. Christmas passed, no gifts. Parents told me Santa must have been stuck in an aerial traffic jam somewhere, and I believed it. I was about 6 and visiting my uncle's house, suddenly I see a small stool with a drawer and a seat, so I ask him what it was, he says that's really cool, and I should put my hand on the seat. It was a small wood burning stove, and I burned my whole hand. Higher education will get you a better job, and is totally worth going 100k in debt for to date. The highest paid job I've gotten with my education is $15 H. My girlfriend, with no high school, gets paid more than me, 